Alright, so hello again. This is going to be the last video um, dealing with the Artillery Co. CBS. Um, I'm going to go over the actual battle system. So far we went over the database and how the script affects the database. We went over the animated battlers system, configuration, animations, configuration, positions, etc. And these, by the way, apply to any battle system that uses the Minkoff animated battlers um, template as a base. So let's go over the function of the actual Artonelico CBS and uh, its configuration mostly. Here you have scene battle that replaces the original scene battle. You don't want to touch this unless you know what you're doing. It's basically um, the important thing that you need to know is for yourself. You cannot have a party with only one Ravitail um, or Wizard or whatever you want to call that category. Um, and you cannot have a party with more than one Ravitail or Wizard or whatever you want to call that category. So here you have, um, you know, the commands that show that. You could play with this, you could change it um, to have more than one Ravitail, but then the system would crash. Um, you know, it's basically uh, the system setting up the battle system, the system controlling the battle system, the balance, etc. So let's just go ahead and look at the configuration. Uh, so we already looked at this in one of the earlier videos. Um, if you want to change the Ravitail class to something else, Wizard, if you want to call it Caster, or whatever you want to call it, um, you have the Chance Spell option versus the Cast Spell option. This is what starts the character what causes Ravitail to start casting the spell and this is what causes Ravitail to unleash the spell. Essentially here you have animations if you want to set up the animation um, to activate the song and to cancel the song if you want to change the animation you do so here and here we have ID tags 105 and 104 if we go into the database into the section has to do with animations we have tags 104 for cancel song basically flashes and for 105 it's basically some sparkly lights um, if you want to change that animation you can do so here um, again red and blue magics just label so this is the important section um, for Ravitel configuration what you have here are the skills um, basically the animation that you're going to use from the skill is charging you have animation uh, for skill 82 that's blast level 1 it's going to use animation 102 skill 83 that's blast level 2 it's going to use animation 107 and skill 80 that's a skill that I added um, it's basically the, the normal Lancer attack crescent sweep um, it's going to use animation 88 to charge so if we look here at the database at the skills section this is scale 80, Crescent Force, scale 82, Blast, and Blast Level 2. Um, and if we look at the animations, uh, I forgot what the animations were. Blast Level 1, uh, Blast Charge Level 1, Blast Charge Level 2, and animation 88. It's basically going to keep shooting a bullet at the character as it charges. Um, we can use a different animation. Let's just go ahead and set. Because why not? <sighs> Here in Song Magic Max Burst, what this defines is if you remember the percentage bar, when will a skill evolve into something else? So, skill 82 will evolve at 700%. We can play with this value. Let's make it so that it evolves at 800%. Skill 83 will stop charging at 3000%. Why? Because it doesn't have anything to evolve into. Um, if you look down here, Song Magic Evolve, um, it's basically telling us that skill 82 will evolve into skill 83, and that skill 80, the one that I defined here, additionally will evolve into skill 82. So we have basically a progression of skill 80 at 500% will evolve into 82. That will charge up to 800 which at which point it will evolve into 83 which will charge up to 3000 percent before you are able to unleash your or before it, it stops growing um, so let's go ahead and see how that would work in battle and of 
course you always have the option of giving your Ravitarel the stronger spells and they can start cha charging um, earlier. Um, let's go ahead and see this one. By the way, you can just ignore the descriptions. The description is just other stuff. So we start with uh, the animation that we put, you know, animation uh, 40, I believe. That's the character casting. And so at 500, it will evolve into Blast, which at 800 will evolve into Blast level 2. Um, so that's how this works. Whenever you define a new skill for the Ravitel, let's go ahead and make another one. Let's say skill 79. It will evolve at 200%. And down here, we'll just set skill 78, was it? Skill 78 will evolve into skill 80. Then we go ahead and give our Ravitail class the new Ravitail skill number 78 which is Blazing Shot. So Blazing Shot, 200%. Oh, great. I forgot to set the magic, of course. Um, so what just happened is that here, the skill 78 Blazing Shot, it's basically consuming 150 SP every second, every fraction of a second. So we need to fix that so that it charges up progressively. And that should work. And so there you see another way in which the script affects the database, Blazing Shot, 200% evolves, guard, 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 500% it evolves, and again 800% it evolves, and when it reaches 3000%, um, it just stops charging. Right. Um, so here we have the skills that we will define as Harmo Overdrive. These are basically the skills that can only be used when the harmonics bar is full. The harmonics bar is this little bar that you see here at the bottom. Um, as the characters, um, as Ravitil chants, you'll, you'll see that it increases from right to left, and as you perform actions, you'll see that it increases from left to right. When they meet at the center, that will unlock the harmonic skills. Um, what skills you can use as harmonic is what you define here. So maybe you want to use skills 12, 32, and 43, 42 there. That's harmonic, and then you give those to your characters and when the harmo bar is filled up, they will be able to cast those spells or use those techniques, and the harmo bar will just dissipate completely. Um, let's see, what else do we have? A uh, hit number for skills. Um, this is where you define how many hits each uh, skill will make. Um, when skill ID, then number of hits. Um, here you have the timing of the scale again. Uh, you have the heat hit ID and the different frames that will be used um, in the scale. Um, speed multiplier, this has to do with uh, how fast the uh, scale gauge is filled up, the percentage bar. Um, and these are all just functions that I, if I were you, I wouldn't play with. That has to do with Ravitels and the stuff down here in scene battle with whether you have too many Ravitels or not. Um, so that's pretty much it for Create EX's script. If uh, you feel that I should go over something else, um, feel free to let me know. Um, and we seem to have five more minutes, um, so 
I'll just go ahead and just kind of make a short video again. Let's see if I can pull off making a short game in five minutes to sort of, you know, rescue someone or something. Let's just go ahead and use the castle then, right? Since we've already gone over all these configurations and so on. Uh, we'll use this. Um, let's see, let's start by giving the castle a floor. Then we'll just real quick make, I don't want to do that, a short castle, a small castle. Then we'll just put walls on it. Just make it a little bit taller, I guess. I would forget one. Right. Um, and then let's just put a tree or two somewhere. So, you know, here's a tree, here's a tree, here's a tree, and here's a fountain, because why not? And then here's a statue, and here's another statue, because why not? Maybe some flags. Boop. Now that we've done that, let's just go ahead and make our, you know, quote unquote game. I use the term very loosely, and what we'll do is we'll just have an enemy slime around here. Let's see. Um, I don't remember where the slime was located. Here we go, this monster. It should be around here. Slime was aquatic, no. The slime was there we go, the slime. So what this will do then we'll just set a battle processing you fight those enemies. Um, and then once you've defeated them you control the switch, a you turn it on, self so switch. Um, so that's going to give us a battle, and then when you finish the battle, it just goes away. And I guess right now you, you can run, so you can run from the battle, so no, you cannot run from the battle, so that's fine. I guess if you lose, you lose. Now we just put it here, just in case. And then here, we'll just put some evil guy. There you go, generic evil guy. And instead of fighting two palms, we'll just fight the two dudes. Right. And then when the switch turns on, it's like you have rescued the puppy. Because why not? Puppy. There. Bark. And then, uh, return to title screen. And then let's give the game some purpose. Let's set an auto run. Please rescue my dog. And then that will be a switch to turn it into nothing. Right. So of course here we need the character who's going to ask you to rescue the dog. Um, there we go. And then you say, my puppy. When you touch her, you know, just you know, randomly walking around, low and slow, there. And this is going to be the player's starting position. And what we have now is a very short two-minute game. Um, where you have to rescue the puppy of this girl and it uses a Creed X battle script. I'm going to go ahead and actually remove the Ravitail. I don't, I'm not a big fan of the Ravitail. So let's see who do we not have in the party. There we go. So now we're going to have um, four different characters. None of them are Ravitail. This is something that you can totally do in your game if you're inclined to do so. And let's see how that works out. Please rescue my dog and walk. And she says, "My puppy." 
So we go over here and we find the evil slime. Always way up there. And you see that it didn't start off with the Raven Tail skill. Um, as you see, my skills are actually draining HP. The reason being that I did not set the SP gauge. Um, I did not set the game to actually drain SP. So we still have the looping animations. We go up, we fight the two dudes. So that one fainted. We have those two useless guys with no swords. And we win and we finish the game. All right, so now we have the puppy. And we talk to the puppy and it barks and then we go back to the title screen. And of course, if you remember this event here, that's what let us use the SP. So if we want to use SP in our game, just a quick reminder, we just take this event, place it over here, and now when we go into battle, please rescue my dog, and now we see the SP gauge, all right? And that would be it for Creed EX's battle system. Uh, I hope you found this useful, and next time around um, I'll go over probably Moon Pearl's uh, menu and battle systems, so have a good one.